Thanks for dropping in to Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. Today, the Steel Wheel Arcturus. Well, what do you think? I got these knives from White Mountain Knives. I got the small and the large. They make a small and a large of the Arcturus. And of course, they've had the Lanner out. They had the new, you know, cut jack made in Italy out. And of course, the Plague Doctor is out. Like I said, the Lanner as well. So got knives that have come out this year. This one's interesting. I saw it and I guess when I saw it, I must have seen it on the Steel Wheel site and I saw this much of it. For some reason, that's all I remember of the knife. And I thought, you know, I really need to get this in my hands. Wow, this really looks exciting. And I did. I got one of each from White Mountain. And why am I covering this part? Because this is going to be my, where I'm going to go down Bitch and Moan Road, right? So interesting blade shape. It's in D2. You can, if you get the large, you get a black blade. If you get a large lantern, you get a black blade. If you get the large version of this, which I don't have anymore, you get a black blade. But if you get the smaller version of all these models, you can choose from an all blacked out, black with satin, green with satin, you know, you got choices. If you like bigger knives, you get no choice at all, basically. That's it. And of course, I do not prefer black blades. I prefer a satin blade or a, just give me a stonewash blade, something like that. Give me this, make it bigger. Put it in a machine, hit the big button, and then make it bigger. At least this Yes, I could die if I wanted to. So I've got choices here because it's not that deep a green or it's not black. But come on, man. In any case, big, small. Big, small. On washers, of course, like the Lanner, like the Plague Doctor, like the Cut Jack. All the ones made in China. Can't think of any of them that are on bearings right off the top of my head, but uh, the intrigue, that's not bearings. But in any case, I'll, I'll revisit that. But just the ones I can think of recently, all on washers. God forbid we put bearings on them. I understand some people prefer washers because you don't get as much debris in there. On the other hand, yes, with a little compressed air or soap and water plus compressed air, blow it out. Uh, you don't even have to really take it apart. You can clean the bearings out, re-lubricate them without taking it apart and be good as new. So... It seems like you're bucking a trend when you do washers with all the things that have bearings in them that are made in China. And the action is just, you know, you get something like the Anthropos here, Isham thing, or another Civivi that I just happen to have around. And the Plethoros, beautiful action on these. So, starting right out with the Bitch and Moan. Not much. I mean, I don't know. You got Tuya knives, bruiser, ceramic bearings to boot, and of course, Best Tech with all their G10 stuff. And it's all got bearings. So it becomes kind of nice to have a little bit of that kind of really nice loose action as opposed to, I've disengaged the lock bar. Here you go. Here's the drop. Let me Let me show you the drop. Here's the drop. Okay, I busted it away from the drop. And here we go. So there you go. Now you can always loosen the pivot. Then it'll give you a little bit better action. Of course, you'll have blade play or it'll be off center. But there you go. So that's unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, I'm kind of getting 
a little sad because I, I really there's just a lot of their knives. Uh, the Plague Doctor is interesting, obviously. You know, I think it's it's kind of a fascinating looking knife. Give me some satin. Give me the large version. The Lanner, I think, is maybe one of the best ones they've come out with in a long time. Because as opposed to the Cut Jack they make in China, FRN. This is G10. Nice backspacer. Beautiful design. And yes, I can only get a black blade in that size. As opposed to this so there's some breakaway there you go how about that drop you know i'm eh, whatever i was gonna go down a more positive track okay so you got the large in the in the small this is a three and a quarter inch blade and it's like seven and uh come on three and a quarter inch blade so about 82 millimeters Seven and three quarter overall, uh, 18 or 19 and a half centimeters. Feels fairly light. There you go. You have a liner for your liner lock. Let me give you a, a little peek at the inside of the knife. There is no liner on top. Uh, that's the same way I think they've done the liner and some of the others as well. Here you go. Same deal there no liner at the top and yes they have uh, of course the liner lock there so here's the standoffs they're all blacked out uh hardware's blacked out and i believe that's appropriate if you're going to do a black wash blade like this this here is much bigger almost nine inches overall three and three quarter inch blade which is like 96, 97 millimeters. Not quite nine inches, but really close. And 22 and a half centimeters overall length. Uh, the feel in the hand is okay. I'm not real big on the ergos on this because I do not like this. This is another thing about this knife that I just completely turned me off. Come out here. Give me something back here. Uh, instead of cutting away and going, you know, going downhill. Come on. Stay out here a little bit. Give me something between my fingers and my palm. I need something in here to, to connect to my palm. And if you just take, like, the cut jack, you do. It, you you got some height here. So now I'm feeling it in my palm in here as well as in my fingers. I feel like I really have good purchase on this knife. And that's really reminiscent, of course, of the Para 2, which is like the Ergo King here. Put that in your hands. And you feel it here, but you also feel it here when you really grip it. You feel it come up against you. And these... I'm not feeling that. See, I'm I'm not getting up here. I'm not feeling that. And I feel like I've got wiggle room here. And, and I don't like that. And I definitely don't like this. I'm not into that. Not at all. Now, I mean, I can, you know, somebody could call me out because I like the Archeo. But the Archeo, it tails off. But it's different. They give you this little area here for all your fingers to fit in, then a wider area for like your fourth finger. And it's not on the tailpiece like it is here. It's on a higher piece of real estate here. And I am connecting here. So I, I don't know what it is, but this actually does feel more ego, ergo friendly than these do. These do not feel ergo friendly to me. As far as this part goes, yes. And once we get past here, no. So I don't know who did the design. And you can see the these kind of little locator standoffs. And then you got actual uh, spacers in here as well. 
And that's kind of attractive there with the green and everything. Kind of gives it some pop, which they didn't care to do with this one. They just like to make it a black blade and to heck with it. Not a deep carry pocket clip. I think that would have been really nice to do. Don't you? Obviously, right and left hand pocket clip. You can do that tip up. I mean, the blade itself, I like. You've got jimping right here, a bit of a thumb ramp. Not bad. And then you got some belly here. Well, let's see if the thing will cut something. We've tested Steel Wheel D2 and M390. They all tested great. I'll, I'll leave the link to our spreadsheet for our test results. And you can see all the knives that we've tested and all their results. But yes, that's nice and sharp. Absolutely. Let's see if this one will do it. Oh, yeah. Sure enough. <laughs> sure enough. Okay. I mean, they're sharp out of the box. HRCs have run good. Yes, they're real D2 steel, all that kind of stuff. That's not in question. It's just, I like the lander. The lander spoiled me. The Plague Doctor was kind of a takeoff in a fanciful way that's a little odd. Obviously, this hump here is more style points than functional points. Although, you know, it does really give you a buttress here for your thumb. So you could claim that if you want, but notice the scales here. They're giving me plenty of room to plant with here on the Ergos. Same with the lantern. You're giving me some height in here. Nice palm swell and a place to yeah, that feels so comfortable. This is really nice. If they made this in Italy, whew, give me a satin blade. Give me this full-size one, made in Italy, M390. I'm there. I am totally there. Uh, and make it like this. I mean, not this color, but you know what I'm saying. Give me some shiny hardware and a satin blade, M390. I mean, this one, this is a keeper. I mean, and look at the action on this. It just walks around with you. I mean, the action on this is just fantastic. Love it. Quality. Right hand, left hand tip up. Full size cut jack. Love it. But I don't know. Just because it's made in China, it can't have bearings. What would it cost extra to put bearings on it? Like 20 cents a knife? Maybe less than that? I'm just, I'm not understanding it. Here's a, oh, oh, by the way, <laughs> you all right? Here's a Ganzo knife. What's this, the FH21 or something? Yeah, FH21. Bearings, D2. Test HRC is excellent. Look at the action on there. 24 bucks. So I don't think it's really a price thing. I don't know why. I, I don't know who's making the decisions. I'll tell you what, I'd sure like to be sitting in that room when they make those final decisions of colors, of options, uh, why the large model is restricted to just one color and black blade, period. That's it. That's all you're going to get. This, you get this, you can get this black scales with satin and all black. So at least you get three different choices there. This, nothing. That's it. How about that for bitch and moan road? Let's weigh them up. Weigh them up and get them the hell out of here. Because uh, I, I don't know what more I've got to say other than it's a total miss for me. I, I, I don't even, I don't even like these knives. I really don't. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not digging them at all. 93 grams on the small one. So, 3.3 ounces, the big one, which is a big dog, almost 9 inches, 4.36 ounces. I mean, they're lightweight, and we'll go grams, 123 grams, pretty lightweight. I mean, these I cannot gravity flip, but I can probably fail them. Well, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, if you loosen the pivots, you could you could get them to drop some, you know, better than this. But then you're going to be off center. I've tried it. I've done it with my cut jack thing here as well. You know, I did it with the cut jack and I've disengaged the lock bar and now I'm shaking it, shaking it. But I mean, I got it really decent action except it was off center and the pivot was loose. But that's the way I got it to do that. Maybe with time, the bronze washers will wear in or that kind of thing. And that's fine. Just, I think people want something that's great right out of the box that they really enjoy. And they're not going to have to wait a year for it to kind of break in slowly. Here we go again. Come on. Come on, break loose. See, that's just, it's one-handed. You just have to do that. And if that's okay, then that's okay. If that's a design you love, that's a design you love. You're good with it. You go, brother. Uh, I am not. This will be okay for piercing. This would be okay for slicing. I mean, this blade shape, wonderful. This much of the knife, I like Somebody needs to do some filler back here. Because <laughs> baby, ain't, she ain't got back. You know what I mean? You got no back, baby. Look at Fancy. She got back. And so does <laughs> Cut Jack got back. And Lanner got back. Plague Doctor got a lot of back. You know, I'm just saying, you got to have something, you know, something in here to hold on to. And that just feels, I mean, actually the Plague Doctor feels really good in hand really good in hand this is a good size this is not a bad one but this is like 3.4 inch blade check it out it's a bigger knife than the small arcturus so this is the small plague doctor but that's probably okay but the big one is really really big and pretty doggone heavy but if you're gonna make one it give us a blade option there i mean give us something <sighs> Seriously, just mm. Lanner, this is a cool looking design. Just a great design. Great practical, good ergos. This is all I can get. It's all I can get. Black. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I don't have much more to say about it other than, wow, what is that? I mean, I don't understand that. Am I supposed to stick that in the ground? What is that, a spike, a nail? Is that supposed to be a knife handle? It ain't to me. Not digging it at all. There's too many other steel wheel knives that are really good and desirable. So, you know, I, I don't love every model of, I mean, wow. I've seen some Spyderco knives. I could just, what was, what the hell were they thinking? And others as well. I can run down the whole list, so I guess it was time for Steel Will to make something I really didn't like. And mission accomplished. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. These will be on my next table sale. You can believe that, brother. Because you know what we do. We love most knives, so you guys stay sharp.